What's going on guys? Today we are checking out the new Neural DSP plugin, the Omega Granifier. So the Granifier is a single channel high gain amplifier. Actually, it's a pretty aggressive amp, but it features two gain stages that you can choose from. So basically you can pull back the gain on this amp and you can get some nice crunchy overdrive tones as well. And there are lots of great features in this plugin. Like for example, you can select different um, power tubes in the amp and it features the Powered by Omega cabinet with 12 IRs per microphone, which is really good. Um, also a nine band equalizer, so you can really tweak your tone however you like. And yeah, it features the Plumes drive pedal from Earthquaker devices, which is a really good overdrive pedal. So yeah, it seems to be a really good one. But now let's switch to my desktop and check out the plugin. Okay guys, so this is the plugin itself. This is how it looks. Um, as you can see, it has the typical uh, neural DSP minimalistic look that I really like. And uh, what we have here is an input control, uh, a noise gate and some sampling options. So basically if you have a lower end computer then you would go with the normal settings here. Uh, next to it we have a bunch of built-in presets and the output control. Mm, up here we can go to the plumes drive pedal by Earthquaker devices and also uh, here we have a nine band equalizer and last but not least the cabinet section. Here we can select a bunch of different microphones, IRs, load custom IRs and all the things like that. Uh, and also we can turn on a secondary microphone, change the positions and everything. So really cool. So basically that's it. Uh, and this is the amp itself. It actually looks like the real Omega Granifier, so really cool. Uh, down here we can choose from three different uh, power tubes. Uh, the first one is the 6L6, then EL34 and the KT66. And also down here we have a MIDI mapping option, which is really cool if we would like to use the plugin in live situations. So basically you can control the whole thing with a MIDI controller. And also they finally added the tuner to the plugin, which is really cool. And actually I think they updated all the previous versions with this plugins, uh, with this tuner. So really cool stuff. Okay, uh, just by loading up the plugin, it sounds like this. So really, really high gain, as you can hear. Um, and what we have here on the amp uh, <clears throat> is the gain control. And next to it, we have uh, a switch that we can use to choose between two gain stages. So uh, this is high. This is low. Uh, then we have the classic bass, middle and treble controls, 
with a level control and then here we have another switch uh, which called voice and this actually does something with the mids so basically if I turn this on it will give, give us a nice uh, mid boost to the sound <laughs> Then we have the master control and depth and detail for some more tone shaping options. So let's see what the depth does. Okay, now let's see the detail. And of course, down here we can select the different power tubes. So this is the 6L6. EL34. And KT66. Now I'm going to go with the uh, EL34. Okay, and now let's see what we can do with the gain settings. If we pull back the gain, maybe if I add some level. So this is the cleanest sound I can get, I guess. Okay, and now let's see the plumes pedal. So we're gonna set this back. Something like this. Okay. 
okay and we're gonna boost our sound with the plumes pedal so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pull back the gain and add some level just we would do in real life okay and it actually has three modes now we're gonna start with the middle position which is mode number two and this is without the pedal and with the pedal Okay, now let's see mode number one. And mode number three. Okay, so for um, this type of heavy sound, I think the mode 2 is the best, at least for my ears. By the way, how many of you guys played um, Tony Obraske of Free? Okay guys, so that's pretty much it, I think. Uh, this plugin is really good, especially for heavy guitar tones and, you know, stuff like that. But as you can see, you can even tweak some nice crunchy overdrive tones in it as well. Okay guys, so this is the Omega Granifier from Neural DSP. As always, thanks so much for checking out this video. If you enjoyed it, please click that like button and please subscribe and ring the bell icon for more videos. And as always, see you guys in the next one.